What's up guys, my name is Dean, aka The Blue Crusader, and welcome back to the channel. From shy ocelots and foxes to friendly villagers to hostile skeletons and creepers, Minecraft has its fair share of different creatures and animals. But what if we want to introduce some more cute and wonderful creatures and pets to spice up our world? If you love cute animals, both in real life, cartoons or in games, and just general animals, this video is for you. In this video, I'll be showcasing the top 10 best Minecraft pets and animal mods. For two more videos which showcase 20 other mobs and creatures mods which haven't been featured in this particular video, look in the description down below for the links to watch them. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Number 10 Inventory Pets The Inventory Pets mod was made to replace the normal pets in game that eventually die or don't really help so much. Basically this mod adds pets which function as items that sit inside your inventory, offering new fresh and fun abilities to your player and to your world. These animated creatures give you cool new potion effects, item drops, buffs, defences and weapons in exchange for you feeding and looking after them. There's a collection of 52 different unique and skill based pets that will surprise you in this mod. Number 9 Gentle Fawn This mod is a simple one that adds brand new mob types in two styles. The deer. This mod adds deer to the game with a male and a female version which can be spawned via the use of deer spawn eggs, dropping venison that can be cooked. You can also use the deer heads which they drop, which are perfect to be mounted on the wall for an example if you're that kind of person that wants to decorate your home in style. Number 8 Poker Cube Mobs the Poker Cube Mobs mod is an add-on for the original Poker Cube mod, adding a series of extra mob types to the original mod based on Pokemon characters and creatures. This mod supplements the original one by adding various new mob types by introducing new colour variants, like the all new collection of evolutions in many different shades. For some awesome Pokemon that you can train, check out the original Poker Cube mod. It's slightly different to the Pixelmon mod and mod pack, and it's a different alternate Pokemon mod for Minecraft that you you can definitely try out and have fun with. This is just a perfect add-on extension to extend the amounts of colours and variants of the different cute mobs in the game. Number 7 Baby Mobs You know those little annoying baby zombies that cause a boatload of problems? The ones that you can never hit? The ones we all hate? Well the Baby Mods mod takes the stress to a whole new level by bringing baby mob style versions for most of the vanilla monsters in game, giving each of them their own personal unique special abilities. There's practically a baby version of every vanilla mob now in this mod and the ones with new abilities are the baby zombie, baby zombie pigman, skeleton, the zombie horse and more. There are also 8 new achievements, 18 new items, a new custom potion effect and a new zombie trap event as well as allowing the zombie and skeleton horses to be bred together in game. Most of the tiny versions of these mobs in this mod are super cute but they're still really dangerous so don't be fooled by their appearance. Number 6 Genetic Animals the purpose of this particular mod is to introduce real world genetics into Minecraft by adding a range of brand new mobs with millions of variations coupled with new hunger mechanics, biome variant types of mobs, litter sizes, optional genders and many more features like new animal equipment and some realism tweaks. If you breed two animal types together in this mod, they will be the result of both parents genetics, making the animals appearance vary in terms of their size, colour, meat and leather drops, their egg colour, wool and milk production and other results and factors. You can breed for a specific trait just like in real life and there's also increased or decreased drops and new drops for certain animal types. You can make new breeds or crossbreed animals or even mirror real life breeds of animals to play around with. This has some really great mechanics for an animal mod and it's the first of its kind in terms of real world genetics in a Minecraft mod. Number 5 Out Fox if you love little furry animals and critters, or foxes in particular, the Outfox mod will be the one that you will love. This mod brings clever fox types to Minecraft's forest biomes, letting you befriend them with raw rabbit meat in order to use them to perform various tasks and jobs for you, such as assisting you with mining by basically creating a path to various ores, and being an organic ore detector for you as they hunt for shiny ores in stone and make certain sounds which depend on how many blocks that they find in an ore vein for an example. This mod does not only save some time, but it adds some interactive features as well as cool fresh pet systems. Number 4 More Living Things 
This mod is a nice little simple one that adds a range of various new mobs to Minecraft to improve the set of mob types available. There's elephants that can be tamed with apples and bred with wheat, giraffes that attack when hurt and can be tamed with wheat and have the possibility to spawn as albino types, lions that can breed with various meats and will be hostile, sharks that hunt down players in water, flamingos that are passive and can be bred with fish, passive little penguins that run from polar bears that can be tamed with fish too, ostriches that you can breed with wheat, making them run to nearby sand to make a nest to lay eggs, crabs which are found at beaches, dropping raw crab and crab shells and being tamed with fish, manta rays that look like phantoms from minecraft but underwater, raccoons that can be bred with pretty much any grown crop or apples and attempt to destroy ostrich and turtle eggs if they'll find them, owls that you can tame and breed with various seed types, these offer three colour variants and they spawn in forests, and finally the ancient blaze that's a new nether boss type that fires six large fireballs as well as small fireballs. These appear like those nether knights which are the concept from minecon that got cut from the game, they're created by jack-o-lanterns which you place upon two glowstone blocks and they'll summon four standard blazers when you defeat them to avenge their death. Number 3 Creatures and Beasts the Creatures and Beasts mod is a mod that tries to add vanilla style creatures into the game that fill the biomes. From the oceans to the ends void, this mod introduces some new cute and fascinating creatures to the game. There is the little grebe which is a duck style bird living in rivers and lakes, lizards that are found in jungles and deserts, cinder shells that are friendly nether tortoises that drop shells that can be used as furnace fuel, sporlings which are passive little mushroom creatures with hostile variants, Lily tads, which are cute little swamp creatures that hide in the water and disguise as lily pads, and also the yeti that will spawn in snowy tundras, neutral until the player comes close or poses a threat to its young. Number 2 Flamingo 000 This mod does exactly what you think it does, it adds flamingo mobs to your world with a few different features and items. It adds pink flamingos that wander around the world that lay their own eggs in a similar fashion to chickens as well as dropping pink feathers and suspicious looking chicken which you can eat. There are also new shrimp items which can be found by fishing with a fishing pole. You can also use the eggs from flamingos to make cake too which makes the mod a little better in terms of its utility features. Number 1 Alex's Mobs this is a brand new forge mod that emerged towards the end of last year in 2020. Alex's mobs adds north of 43 different creatures and mobs to Minecraft, mostly being based off of real world creatures, including the likes of bears, roadrunners, orcas, sea life, insects and so much more, along with some fictional creatures too. This is that type of mod that's so unique and large that it probably deserves its own mod showcase which is why I might do one on it in the future. This particular mod took the number one spot in this video as they all perfectly fit into Minecraft and they utilise the same visual style that you'd expect from a vanilla Minecraft mob. With this, the mobs all fulfil a specific purpose, each having a set of unique drops or functions and mechanics which make them special, meaning they're not just for aesthetic purposes or to fill your world, as it is with most other mobs in different mods. The drop system is interesting in this mod to say the least, with endangered animals only dropping their rare materials when they die, and some mobs like the Komodo Dragon and Hammerhead Shark for an example, dropping materials whilst they perform certain tasks. Many of these drops can be used to craft special items. There's also a guidebook called the Animal Dictionary which provides some basic documentation of each and every creature within the mod as well as what they do. There's many different mobs in this mod from the Tasmanian Devil to kangaroos, cockroaches, crows, snow leopards, seals, lobsters, rattlesnakes and even gorillas to list just a few more. And that concludes the top 10 Minecraft pets and animal mods video. If you enjoyed it give it a like and consider subscribing and turning on notifications for more Minecraft videos like this. If you disagree with the top 10 pets and animal mods which I featured and you think I missed your favourite mod then definitely let me know what that is in the comments section down below and consider becoming a member of the channel by pressing the join button which will support the channel and in turn give you access to my modern Minecraft server and also my custom Minecraft mods. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.